Hello everyone. AIO Stream is a marketing software designed by White Hat Box team for music website. Only some websites are available for now, but there will be more. Websites are available such as SoundCloud, Spotify, Napster, Deezer, iHeartRadio, and Pandora. Users can increase views, followers, and likes, and so on, of songs in a very short time by using AIO Stream. They can also play, follow, and like a batch of songs, and even comment on any songs, lists, and users. AIO Stream has account management, data source management, and task management with very flexible operations. Users can create such tasks based on real needs. It's just a general introduction to this software today. There will be more videos on each function. This is the main interface. Click style. I can change the style with system style or custom style, including color fit. Three tabs here, Account Management, Data Source Management, and Task Management. The first tab, Account Management, the Website Categories. I can add account for each website. I can check selected accounts to see if they can work, and start to run these accounts. Click Proxies, I can bind proxy for each account. Limit means account limit. It means to set how many times an account can run within a period of time in case account will be blocked by website. The second tab, Data Source Management. It means to add a data source such as account data source and text data source like links of playlist, song, and user. Data source is added here and will be used when the task runs. Users can add a data source for each website. The third tab, Task Management. Users can add different tasks for each website. Select SoundCloud, add a new task. I can fast create a task by using templates. I can also create my own custom task. Fast creation, for example. These are system templates. We will add more. If you need, you can contact us so that we can create templates you need. Play playlist template, for example. Select the second one, only create data sources that do not exist. I select data source, links of the playlist. Data that has been used while the task is running will be saved here. Once cached data is here, Task can assure that data in data source will not be reused. Next step. Select an account to log in when playing the songs. Click here to view the selected accounts. Finish data source settings. Task parameters, the shortest time or longest time to play each playlist. This is the task created. Click Start to run it. Now I add a manual creation task. This is the task interface. I can add some actions, also some data source and even some function modules to this task according to real needs. I cancel this task creation. Hello, it's AIO Stream. This video is about how to create a task and run a task. I take SoundCloud for example. Create a new task first. Name the task and select Fast Creation using templates. Here to select a template. When a template is selected, general function and running mode of the template will be displayed on the right side. If there is no template you want, click here to submit your requirements. We will add such templates for you. Play tracks for example. 
data source, for example, according to task template I selected. I need a text data source for songs links and an account data source for accounts to log on to the site. So how to create a data source? Create a new data source automatically. To create a data source that does not exist. Do not create task data source. So I need to manually create or specify data source in following settings. Create a new data source for example. Select a text data source which contains songs links. Here I can specify a data source I want or I can use the data source automatically created by the program. Click here to add a new data source. Click here to manage data in data source. Here I can add a song link. I select a text data source that contains a few songs links for example. Click manage data again. These are links in text data source. Next step. Select an account data source, the default data source for example. Select account to use. Save it and that's all for data source settings. Task parameters. When the parameter is selected, its description will be displayed on the right. Here I can modify value. Save the settings. This is the created task. Select a task, start task settings. The maximum number of tasks that can be run at the same time. To show debug window or not when task is running. To enable scheduled task or not. Click OK. Keep the task selected. Hit the start button to start this task. stop button to stop task. Hello everyone, this is a video about data source management on AIO stream. I will take SoundCloud as an example. Data source is a collection of data which includes many types such as account data source, text data source. Account data source is a collection of accounts and the text data source is a collection of texts. So what is the function of the data source? For example, there is a task for playing songs online. There are 100 accounts and 1000 songs needed to be played online. That is, to play 1000 songs with 100 accounts. I can add 100 accounts to an account data source and add the URL of the 1000 songs to the text data source. And then add these data sources to task settings. So task will get accounts and URL of songs from data source and start to run. How to add a data source category? Select SoundCloud, click Add, and input name. This is the data source category added. How to modify the name of the data source category? Select the category, click Edit, and input the new name. How to delete a category? Select the category, hit delete button. If I delete the selected data source category, I will delete all the data sources under it. The selected data source category has been deleted. How to add an account data source? I add a category first. Select the category, hit new button. Input data source name and select data source type. An account data source has been added. I select some accounts to be saved to this account data source. 
Save the settings. How to add a text data source? Still select the category, hit new button. Input data source name and select data source type. A text data source has been added. I can add some texts in it. Select text data source and input texts here. Add like this. How to rename, copy, paste, and delete data source. I rename data source name users1 as users2. Select it and click rename. Input new name. Now I copy and paste text data source. Select it, hit copy first, and then paste button. This is the copy. I delete the copy, select it, hit delete button. How to move data source from one category to another? I add a new category first. Select the data source, hit move button, and select the target category. Hello, this is an example of managing accounts on SoundCloud through AIO Stream. How to add an account category? Select SoundCloud, click Add, and input name. This is the category added. How to modify category name? Select the category, click Edit. Input new name. How to delete an account category? Select the category, click Delete. If I delete the selected category, all the account's information will also be deleted. How to import accounts from txt file? Add a category first. Select the category, click Import. View the format of the content. This is account. This is password and proxy. Proxy is optional. Three accounts were imported. How to import accounts from CSV file? View format of the content through Microsoft Excel. The first column is account, the second password, and the third proxy. Proxy is optional. Now I import the accounts from CSV file. Imported successfully. How to export account information? Select a category, click Export. Select the content to export. The exported file can be txt file or csv file. Name the file. Export it successfully. How to add an account manually? Select a category, hit Add button. Input account and password. The proxy is optional. Edit successfully. How to edit, delete, 
Enable and Disable Accounts. Select an account. Edit or delete it here. I can delete multiple accounts. Enable the selected accounts. Disable the selected accounts. How to verify an account? Select the account. Click Settings. This is the maximum number of threads to automatically disable accounts that failed to verify to show browser window or not if account's verification is to be finished through bot shift. But the settings will be invalid if account's verification is to be finished through Google Chrome. Hit Start button. Verification starts. Stop verification. That's all about account management. Thank you.